sitting inside the Volt future car of Scott Herman Fitness. It's actually kind of nice. It kind of reminds me of sitting in Jane because it's got the same kind of paneling and it comes up. I wonder if it glows at night too. There's a display right here. The trunk's open, the door's open. See? See what we got down here. Power. Another power button over here. This is pretty cool. It's a nice big screen too. Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> Put the four ways on. Well, this is all touch screen. Cool. Uh, of course they locked that. Uh, wow, look at the cup holders back here. This is really cool. Nice big trunk space. That's a nice car. Oh, cool, that's where you plug it in. Doesn't that light up, too? I thought so. I thought it lit up, but in the commercial, it looked like it did. That's cool. You buying it? I have to wait till next year. Oh, really? They don't make it any. It's sale. It is, but they don't have any left. <laughs> Uh, they go for forty something, I think. There's a. Credit. But you get a credit. Yeah, you get like eight grand off if you buy it. It's really sweet. So next year, do we another year? Gas prices are five dollars a gallon. If you actually drive the car less than forty miles a day, you don't have to pay for gas ever again. Unless, well, you have to make sure you run the engine every six months just because you don't want it to seize. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a pretty cool car. It's a. Uh, yeah, it looks. Good. It's like having a good meal plan, running smoothly. You know. <laughs> you got a little junk for everyone's That's what the Camaro's for. Ah. Camaro is the cheat day. I already got one of those. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Florida dun, probably dun, goes dun. Purple. <laughs> What was your name? We didn't meet yet. Huh? What was your first name? Jewel. Hi, Jewel. Hi. Are you having fun? I am having a blast. Wanna tell us about yourself? Let's have a brief Jewel bio. I'm married and I'm a mother. That pretty much says it all. Oh, man. <laughs> no, actually, I am a blogger from South Florida. Very and cool. I am here with GM having. So, you know Travis mass. then? I do know Travis. I met Travis at an OnStar tweet up not too long ago. He didn't tell me that yesterday. He neglected to even knew who you were. Really? No, he pretended, he, no, pretended no. he didn't know me? No. Travis? He's just a compulsive liar. <laughs> Camera never lies. Show me that footage. <laughs> I need to see that. We'll show it. All right, we're going to have to hang up this video so we can show the footage. <laughs> Checking out the Bentleys. This car is huge. It is a nice car. These cars are just they're so big and luxurious. Check, check, one, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, 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 five. Check, two, three, four, five. Five, five, one, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Let's get inside this thing. Five, check, 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 two, three, four, five. Five. Everybody has to have a little luxury, so maybe we'll get one of these sometime soon.
Look at that. This little tray. It smells like such a new car in here. Is this supposed to do something? I'll probably flips when the car turns on. So cool. All right, so I'm at Toyota. I'm gonna to be doing a simulation to test out the star safety that they have. And what they're gonna do is let me drive in this contraption, pretending that there's nothing there for safety, and then all of the star safety features will be included, power brakes, any lock brakes. What are some other things? Stability control, Vehicle stability control, control, traction control, control, all that fun stuff. And Aaron's gonna help us out film that. Let's see. Not as easy as you think. <laughs> Those were just practice. Those are just for the camera. you down. Now sure. I can't do all the fun 360s like I was doing before. <laughs> I passed him earlier and it did the same thing. It started me back over. Oh, right. uh, one you passed him made you do it too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a new track record. Oh! Nice. That's not I good. That's good. upside down. That's upside down. 360. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's hard to go upside down. <laughs> Obviously not for you. <laughs> Right at the punch straight away. Oh, no! 
That was pretty cool. Huge difference. One from a D to an E. All right. Did you feel the difference in it? Oh, for sure. Time. Because it stops you when you want to go, when you have a lead foot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Some of the cool things coming out in Toyota. Star safety. Get that for my house.
What propelled these cars to victory? It's good old-fashioned know-how and ingenuity. Generations of gearheads and car guys. Each one dedicated to rethinking, rebuilding, and redesigning what they started with, and turning it into something better. Serving up new technologies, not just for more speed, but for more capability, more efficiency, and more value. They turned concepts into reality and gave us all something to dream about. Like the nation as a whole, Chevrolet survived the tough times and pitched in when there was a job to do, constantly striving to make better cars and trucks year after year. Today, Chevrolet is building on its path for a bright and better future, bringing more technology to more people than ever before, reinventing what a car can be, expanding the boundaries of power and performance, and delivering capable, dependable vehicles to help hardworking individuals get the job done, move around our planet, and keep their families safe. This isn't just any car, this is Chevrolet. We built our heritage one customer at a time, one car and truck at a time, and we're looking forward to our next interview. That's why we can proudly say, Chevy runs deep. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome GM's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Dan Ackerson. Yes, November 3rd, 2011 marks the 100th anniversary of Chevrolet. For millions of Chevrolet customers in North America and increasingly around the world, Chevrolet represents what it is has for generations, value, reliability, durability, and expressive design. Chevrolet's centennial reminds us of our responsibility to uphold these qualities. It also reminds us of the need to keep pushing on the technology front, like we're doing with the Chevrolet Bolt, the North American Car of the Year. And also on fuel economy, thank Sonic, and the cruise eco. On the capability front, the Silverado and Equinox. And on performance, with the Camaro and the Chevrolet Corvette. With over 200 million Chevrolets sold over the past 100 years, many people around the world have a personal connection with Chevrolet. So it's important for us to take the time and reflect on the passion and the emotion and the brand that is enjoyed with customers over the past 100 years and to build on it in the future. All right, say hi. Hi. State your name. Travis. Travis. <laughs> and why are we here? Because we're invited. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we're at the OnStar Command Center. This is your favorite, this is like your thing. So you were specially invited by OnStar, right? Oh, yeah. He's like a kid in the candy store right now. The only thing he needs is a Pepsi. <laughs> Alright, do you want to say hi? Come on. Hello, Marquise McCullough. Let's make sure she's not lying. Yep. That is me. That's her. Welcome, thank you guys for coming here. Yeah, we're really excited to be here. Great. I think everyone is. Oh wow, you guys don't have vegetable wraps. That's amazing, I love that. <laughs> Nothing but the best for you. <laughs> Connie. Connie, how's your back feel? Better now, thanks to you. Oh yeah. I'm going to just interview all the people who like me really, really much. You love me? I love you. See? Absolutely. Deb? I got a knot in my uh, shoulder, so I may, be, <laughs> I may be asking for your services. Try, I'm starting to rethink this love of where it actually comes from. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing? Awesome. You excited for OnStar? Oh, I'm always excited for OnStar. Oh, I've yeah. me about three times. Mike's responsible for making sure your car has no dents and dings before it goes on out to paint. Really? Right. Yep. The Chevy Cruze goes to paint. Oh, I, almost, I got your face off. Say again. The Chevy Cruze? Chevy Cruze. Oh, yeah. Why the Cruze? I have something to say here. Just wanted you to know that OnStar totally rocks. Totally. It does rock. It does rock. If you haven't seen my video of me talking to OnStar, click on this link and you'll be able to check it out. You are beautiful today. Do I say hi, Ryan? How's it going? 
I don't know what else to say beyond that, though. <laughs> you, dude, this is live. I, this is. <laughs> this is, we just talked about this in the elevator. We just went over this. Hey, I'm excited to be here to learn about OnStar because I don't know about OnStar. And as I said yesterday... You know you're sitting across from the OnStar King? I, I do know. I grilled him about it yesterday. <laughs> Travis, did you notice what's on the table next to you? Amp. Oh, yeah. That's my amp. <laughs> it's a Pepsi product. And he loves Sierra Mist. All right, so everyone's going to eat. We'll annoy one more person. All right, Callie, you're live. Hello. I'm about to dig into some uh, steak. Is this steak? It looks like cookies. <laughs> looks good. No, we've got some shrimp and steaks and steak and cookies and rice, pilaf maybe. Oh, man. i got to stop videotaping. <laughs> this looks good. Which is your preference? Project Beacon. Technology Hall of Arms. We only had 1,100 uh, 1, 1100 total uh, OnStar subscribers back in 96 time frame, all on Cadillacs, of course. And this is what that Gen 1 hardware looked like. We had airbag oh, deployment notification really was our primary focus at the time. We knew nothing about it, had no vision of, of uh, auto theft uh, recovery or of any of the other cool features that we've got. Now, we don't have a lot of time to talk about all the different developments, but our objective is we move down Technology Hall and come with me, please. Another way. I'm so glad. This way. It, our objective, hey, frankly, go. is Technology to make Hall. sure that uh, for General Motors, <laughs> the cost of the hardware is reduced, the number of subscribers goes up, and the number of different services that we offer in our portfolio increases as well. You work your way all the way up. As you can see, we've got 4 million subscribers by 05. The uh, Gen 6 hardware, significantly less expensive. We've got the monthly OnStar vehicle diagnostics email that we can offer. Gen 7 hardware. Now, if you take a look at this, this is 2006. Ten years in, and for you techie types that would know, that it generally is three to four years for what we call a VDP, a vehicle development process. And for us to be able to, to develop seven generations in that decade uh, and, and somehow have a... Uh, a cycle that's going like this that can integrate with a vehicle cycle that's going much more slowly is a big technological challenge, but we've been able to do it. Because if we don't do that, then we're not going to be up to speed with respect to the various different competitors out there that are providing that, one guys? of the services that OnStar offers Join in its uh, portfolio. Here we're on Gen 8. We're already working Gen 9 as we speak. We've got it out there, and we're at 5.5 million um, subscribers total. All right, guys, so now we're in the GM Heritage Center in Detroit, Michigan, and I've looked at all the cars. There's about 140 cars here. They have everything from what came off the production line first when the company first started to some new stuff. If I had to leave with any car, I'd leave with the Zero One. Brand new, number 383. This thing's ready to go. It's just waiting. It's probably very angry that it's been forced to sit here for so long and not drive. That's what I'd take out of here. There's a lot of heritage. The heritage can stay. Let's get the 2011 out of here. Sorry, guys. That's okay. You want to go for a ride in my ZR1? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to look around some more. I'm going to show you guys a little walk through, show you what we got going on here. There's lots of stuff here. So just enjoy the show. Some concept Corvettes. This one's really interesting. The inside of this thing. And the doors. You guys, a quick span, really high span. If you guys have never been here before. Some Stingray Corvettes. Now here's the Concept Camaro, which I think looks way cooler. Both windows go down in the back. Sleeker side mirrors. Cool looking windshield wipers. 
The interior is leather. It looks like an old, old school style Camaro. The steering wheel looks way cooler. All the gauges look way cooler. But they said, nope, we're not giving you all the cool stuff. We'll give you just the regular stuff. All right? I don't what do you know think? If that's necessarily true. <laughs> As a number one Camaro fan, I can't really go against my car. I love my car. Okay, but I would have loved this one more. That's all it I'm is saying. Very cool. The concept is very unique. Camaro, it has the the gas at the top. I mean, it's just awesome. Smaller lights in the side. Pretty sweet exhaust. I mean, this car was built to turn heads, and it did. It still does. Is the whole back of the car smaller? It looks. Uh, the rear fascia is different. Yeah, it looks like it's not as thick. Not as deep. Oops. Oh, and crap. the bottom diffuser, I know, is different. It didn't just kick that side. No, not at all. It wasn't me. We'll move it back anyways. All right. <laughs> all right, we'll keep looking around. Oh, this looks cool. Imagine driving these cars. So cool. Back in the day, you just like jump over the side and go for a ride. Now, if you did that, they'd kill you. <laughs> so cool. All right, so I'm gonna finish looking around here. We gotta bounce out of here in like 10 minutes. Took us an hour and a half to get here because it's snowing out and it's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna look around some more. See you guys later. Well, wasn't too happy with my flight getting canceled from, this, from all this crazy snow that's entering Boston and was in Michigan. But, got a good workout in this place. It's a really good facility. Dumbbells, machines. It's a life fitness machine over here. So if you guys have seen my videos, you know that I have lots of workouts using just those things. And a nice little Cybex life fitness section over here. Some cardio. All the good stuff, so it's time to go to my hotel room and pack and say goodbye to Michigan. See you guys at home. Well, since the car show, I am now in Chicago and I'm doing another Sears Fitness Club event at the Orland Square Mall in Orland, Illinois. And man, it's like snowed everywhere. It's even snowed here in Illinois. I was in Chicago last night having a good time. Met someone from Twitter, B Pins, got us at this club. It was a great time. Thanks a lot, man. So, I'm going to go do this event and then I'm videotape that as well. But that's going to be a separate video that I'm going to post. So, see you guys around. Thanks for watching this vlog and talk to you later.